that is the biggest issue facing Kiwis. It's the leading driver of poverty, and it's also the, it's choking our economy because so many Kiwis put all of their money into housing rather than businesses that actually create exports and jobs. And jobs and wealth. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's been a real lost opportunity in those last three years. Because of Kiwi Build, I mean, it's a well-established um, failure, that took away so much of the money and the thinking and the time in yes. terms of thought, you know, and, and housing. And basically we've been left with, what, a few thousand state houses. Yeah, I mean, they really came in ill-prepared. Kiwi Build was never going to work. All the experts said that before they got in, but, uh, you know, they persisted with it anyway. So, yeah, three years wasted. Okay, so with housing, what is your silver bullet? Well, there's no one silver bullet. There's a whole bunch of things that need to happen. We need to reform the tax system so that we tax housing the same as other assets. We need to allow much more building up in our cities around public and, and active transport networks so people can walk or cycle or take public transport. I thought Labour was doing that. Well, they, they're starting on that on that journey it's now. It's job, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we need to reform the RMA. It's not just going to take a national policy statement. We need to reform the RMA to allow that. And we need to fund local government so that they can actually build the infrastructure needed. Mm. No one's talking about that. Right at the start of this interview, you just said that you would tax the family home? We would tax housing the same as other assets. We don't want to increase the amount of tax that's taken, but we just want to make sure that, that property is paying its fair share of tax. So you would tax the family home? That, that includes the family home, Everyone yeah. gains tax on, on family home of what percent? Well, it's it's just about making sure that it gets taxed the same as other investments. So we'd use that money to bring down the tax on other investments, much like they do in, in would it be 33 countries around the Would it be 30, 33, 28 to 33 cents, would it? Well, if, you, if we taxed property, then we could afford to bring down tax rates across the board yeah, sure, no, by, by up to and, a third. And we'll get to that in a second. But just so people know, let's say I sold my house for a half a million dollar profit, okay, so $500,000. Yeah. What would the tax be on that that I'd have to give back to the state of that half million dollar profit? Well, what we're suggesting is is more akin to rates because you know there's problems with a with a capital gains tax. Uh, so what we're suggesting is effectively a, a one percent tax on the value of a, on the value of equity in a property each and every year. Right, one percent of every year. So let's say the equity is a million dollars. That's ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars a year in a yep. tax yep. every year. You own the house. Yep. This, this this is the thing about the top party is that you've got some huge big ideas like this. The, your ideas would change the way New Zealand actually does business and change the way every family does business. Tell us about UBI. Yeah, so the idea of a UBI is 250 bucks a week to everyone, no questions asked. And this revolutionises our tax and welfare system. So the whole idea is to reward effort. You know, it rewards people for starting businesses, for studying, and most, most importantly, it rewards people for working because at the moment our benefit benefit system traps people in poverty. When people try to work, they lose their benefit and they're often no better off overall. From what age would you have to be to get this um, 250? From the age of 18. Right. So those gentlemen in here before would, would get they that. deserved it? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Those, those guys deserve it more than anyone. Just quickly, uh, just uh, when I was uh, researching you yesterday, one of the interesting things that I found about you is that your background in improv acting and stuff like that, yeah. I was fascinating how that you can bring that into your career in politics, the theatrics, the performance, the confidence that maybe comes with you, just to sort of get an insight to you. Yeah, I mean, that is a, it's a big part of, of my background. I mean, that's kind of my, my creative outlet. I You know, I think everyone needs some sort of creative outlet to, you know, balance out the, the stresses of, of day to day. Uh, so some people like to dance. I, I improvise, yeah. I've just realised who you look like as an, as, if you're an actor. Uh, <laughs> Jurassic Park, who's the bloke? Jeff. Oh, Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, hello you. Oh, yes. thanks. No worries. Take it. <laughs> I'm floored by the capital gains proposal yeah. because even one of the biggest, strongest proponents of it who desperately wanted to do it was Jacinda Ardern. Uh, and she realised it's a, it's a political poisonous chalice and you, you're prepared to pick that up and run with it. Well, someone's got to, you know. I mean, we New Zealand has the biggest tax difference between property and other investments in the world. Mm -hmm. And we have some of the highest tax rates on businesses in, in the Western world. We've got to bring those down, and it makes sense to to put to pay for that by putting some increasing the tax on property. Our viewer question to you is, will your party continue to release policy and contribute to the conversation post-election, regardless of the results? So if you don't make it, will you still carry on? Absolutely. Look, we, we've transitioned now from from a one-man band to a sustainable movement. You know, we have an incredible team of candidates. We've got some great volunteers and uh, and donors. And, you know, we're a movement now. We're continuing on. Yeah, so, so crowded out there, though, isn't it? You've got, I mean, you had Gareth Morgan as, as your leader yeah. beforehand. Hey, what is your party's position? 
position then on, on cats? Do you have a... <laughs> we do not have a position on cats. That was Gareth's pet thing, if I <laughs> to excuse the, the pun. But uh, Hi, I'm Jeff. I'm here to get your vote. I want to kill your cat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not a, not a great opening line, is it? No. Hey, no matter what sort of acting you do. Um, <laughs> that, well, also, this sub um, question. Have any of the more mainstream parties discussed policy with, with you guys? Well, we see our policies being picked up across the... You know, since we released our housing policy back in April, Labor's pinched a bit of it, Axe pinched a bit of it, um, the, the Māori Party have been starting to been talk about tax reform as well. So, and that's the whole purpose of TOP, is to see other parties picking up our ideas and, and running with them. That's that from a, from our perspective let is do, a win. Let me do a quick fire with you, if I've, if I've got two seconds. Here we awesome. go. Do you support um, the legalisation of cannabis? Yes. Do you support the end of life choice bill? TOP doesn't have a position on that, but personally, yes. Do you support the pension age being increased? Uh, our position is is to get those people who are still earning on a pension paying more tax. So so we wouldn't need to increase the pension age, no. Okay. Remember a quick fire, Jeff. Sorry, quick fire, okay. yeah. yeah. Should 16-year-olds be able to vote? Yes. Oh, you're mad. Wow. Uh, should te reo Māori be compulsory at all levels? Uh, we need to move towards that, yes. Should New Zealand declare a climate emergency? Yes. Should there be an age limit on voting? Oh, you mean an upper age yes, limit? Yes. <laughs> no. Okay. Do the rich pay enough tax? The rich do. A high income earners do. The wealthy, no. Uh, and that's particularly, that's yeah, that's the property. Mm. Yeah. Uh, who is our most out of touch older politician? Shane Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. What's the biggest thing you have in common with each other? Uh, you and Shane Jones. Me and Shane Jones. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We're both from Northland. That's about it. Uh, there you go. That'll do. <laughs> uh, TikTok or Instagram? Insta. Okay. What do you think of TikTok? Oh, it doesn't matter, does it? Oh, my nieces love it. I haven't got my head around it yet, yeah. to be honest. Um, Jaws, um, I'm talking um, Savage Love. Uh, so, uh, Josh or Lord? Lord. Yes. These are questions for young people, you see? You're right, yeah. on, you're right on to it. Uh, Jeff Simmons, uh, the Opportunities Party Leader. Appreciate your time on the program. Kia ora. Good stuff, mate. Well done.